Hey guys, welcome back to Kinetic U. So today's exercise is going to be the hip hinge with the progression of a deadlift. So you're going to want to do is stand uh, hip width apart, toes facing away from you, okay? Uh, nice and tall on the spine, brace through the core. You're going to hinge at the hips. So it's a weight shift backwards, so you should feel weight going into your heels. You might even feel tension throughout your hamstrings and that's a good thing. Uh, once you're in this position, activate through the glutes to come back up. Okay, so again, you want to make sure as you go down, the knees don't cave in like this, so they stay over uh, the second or third toes here, and they don't come forward. So keep the weight back in the heels. Uh, to progress this, you're going to grab a weight. Uh, I have a kettlebell here. You can grab anything at your home that's going to be heavy, so even like a milk jug. You can get your kid if you want to. Uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, have the shoulders stable, so don't let the weight bring you down. Okay, so the shoulders are stable. Same motion, hips go back, weight's gonna come straight down, tight through the core. Don't focus on going all the way to the ground because you're gonna start rounding in your back. Just focus on maintaining a neutral spine. As soon as the hips go back as far as they can, use the glutes to get yourself back up. If any of this movement is painful, start on the ground. So we can start uh, in a kneeling position same motion, now it's just le less weight, okay, less pressure throughout the spine. So same thing, nice and tight through the core, hips are gonna go back. Use some glute activation to bring yourself back forward. Have fun with these, and be kinetic. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, stay awesome, and be kinetic.